Good morning, Tigers. Today is Thursday, October 17th, 2019, an earthquake drill scheduled A day. Meetings and events for today. Shake it out, earthquake drill, fourth block. After school study center, 3.15 p.m. in the library. Smash club, 3.15 p.m. in room 334. Um, activity bus departs at 4.30 p.m. Tech team, aim it at 5.30 p.m. in the Tiger Net and for October is 7 p.m. in the cafeteria. Announcements. Trap Club Parent Informational Night will take place on the, in the auto shop tonight, October 24th at 7 p.m. Students who have signed up for the PSAT, the test is Saturday, October 19th. For students to check in, in the, with, they'll begin in the cafeteria uh, at 7.30 a.m. Tests will be completed by noon. Join Guitars 2, 3, and 4 for Rocktober. This band concert will take place tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. in the cafeteria. Admission is free and there will be a raffle. Club presidents uh, participating in Halloween rooms uh, must attend a meeting on October 22nd in Abel's room at 7.30 a.m. The Lost and Found is temporarily in the main office and will be completely cleaned out on Tuesday, October 22nd in anticipation of moving it back to the student services office. So come and get your lost stuff. Note, as of October 28th, the lost and found will be back in the student services office on Main Street and will be cleaned out every Friday. So you need to stay on top of finding your lost yet found items. National Honor Society will be held a fun fundraiser at the, the Bridgeport Mod Pizza for from 10.30 to 10 today. Stop on and buy for lunch or dinner to raise money for the club. You can find the file art in the events here at www.grouprace.com slash events. Juniors and seniors, it's time to register for IV exams. Registration forms are due by October 31st. See Mr. Savage or your IB teacher for the registration form. Seniors, the, the 2020 Diploma Information the Survey will the Santa directly to your student email account. November 1st deadline, you must complete it with your full legal name. Please confirm with parent to a private prior to submitting. Registration for the 2020 grad party opened following the senior meeting. Use the, use the coupon code you were given for the online registration to save 10% off the registration cost. The coupon code will end tomorrow at midnight. Take advantage of this early registration promotion and sign up. You can find us on the web at tigersafegrads.com and find us also on the Facebook page. Seniors, you have until November 8th to get all your book, your yearbook information in. Go to the Tiger High School website under parents or students to find the yearbook website where you will find all the forms that you need. Friday, October 18th, which is tomorrow, everybody athletics meetings room and 201 at 7.40 a.m. Free donuts are provided. And now for the raffle. Hi, I'm Lila and this is your weekly raffle. For our ninth grade winners, we have Quinlan Keller and Lake and Reed. For 10th grade winners, we have Chloe Walksmith and Eduardo Villatoro. For 11th grade winners, we have Maya Caulfield and Mason Fast. And for 12th grade winners, we have Jeremiah Ferguson and Shelby Cummins. Please come to the main office to get your prize. Back to you in the studio. Uh, we're 12 Zebras. I'm Owen Colgrove. This is Jake Martin, Michael Lee, and Dylan Miner. Uh, we made the new Tiger Today jingle song, whatever it is. So basically, we just we grab the bass, have him play a little, play the little, little, jingle little jingle on it, and then we kind of messed around with it, tuned the bass because it was out of tune. It's a lot. It's still out of tune. Um, kind of just made it on time, on beat, and we just went from there. Pushed a lot of buttons, see what um, sounded good, what didn't sound good, and we took what sounded good and put it in. Um, Matthew Steinmetz is a great teacher for recording and production. You should definitely take his class next year if you want and if you like recording and production and music in general.
Hello, my name is Caleb Schrader, and these are my teammates for CMC and Sunset Racing, Jack Doyle and Lucas Hyde. So I've been doing this for about two years now. I bought my first cart from uh, Pat's Acres. Then ever since then, I've been just rising to the top. I joined CMC in the beginning of 2018. Um, I got started racing uh, about 2009, but it was just kind of for fun. I'd come here to Sidecar. This is mostly where I'd go. And then I got introduced to the league in 2016, and I met Caleb and Jack. And then they bought carts and started racing outdoors, and then I just decided to do that as well. So I got started racing here at SciCart late 2016. I wanted to do more, and we ended up buying a go-kart. Got pretty good, and then I got picked up by the CMC racing team, and I've been racing with them ever since. So I've been racing at SciCart for about five years. Um, I got into it out of random. Like, my dad just found this place, and apparently I had some raw talent got some people to notice me, and then I just built up skill ever since. I've been racing a sidecar for about uh, nine, eight years now. My dad got me into it when I was 10 years old. He took me here just to get me out and start doing stuff with him more often. Um, I really started to enjoy it. My dad and I have always been really close, so he'd bring me here every weekend just to race and hang out. What I like most about racing is the thrill and the danger. The speed and the competitiveness. It's really difficult to be good at. I really enjoy just getting better at it. But once you're good at it, it's really rewarding. Especially being a girl, like, you don't see a lot of girls racing here, so it's a little different. So we're here with Mr. Rodriguez. He's the new IT person here at Tigard High School, and we're going to have him talk to us about Chromebooks. So how has it been going on so far with the role academic students? Uh, it's been going pretty well. We're trying to get 2,000 Chromebooks out to right. students. So you know, can't really complain. I think yeah. uh, we still have a couple students coming in, but right. overall, minor I think casualties. Just minor, just yeah. a few <laughs> casualties here and there. Um, overall, I think it's gone really, really well, though. It's good. It's good. Well, what what can you? tell students that they can do better or need to know just in a more general sense about taking care of their new Chromebooks? Um, so I think right now we have a lot of damaged screens. Mm -hmm. um, what happens is, and if there's anything inside the Chromebook when you go to close it and it has that oh, impact, right. it'll break the screen on the inside. Um, another thing is if they're sitting on a table and they accidentally fall down or if you drop it more so on the edge, um, if you'll see, it's got that protective plate on it. Yeah, the like whiteboard. Yeah, but the sides are really, really yeah, vulnerable. Really deep. Um, so I think those two things are the big, the big factors mm -hmm. that go into those broken screens, and that's what we've seen. The is most it, and is that the, ma the majority? It's less, you know, keys and more just like people messing up closing it when there's like a marble in there or something. Correct. Correct. Yeah. I think I don't. I don't know about marble, too many marbles, but, but I, just something I've that heard of a couple of pencils or pens. Pen oh, yeah, right. so, oh, really? You know, you put that pencil right in the end yeah. when you're not using it, and then you forget about it. Right. But, I can see that. Um, yeah, I think the screens are the biggest the biggest issue that we're having right now. Right. Um, so it's more just kind of make sure when you close it, um, don't let it be. Well, if it's closed, it's pretty protected. Correct. Correct. So just it's, making sure that they're keeping it closed. Yep. Um, yeah, and then I think besides that, we've had a lot of teachers that are requesting that students make sure they're charged before they yeah. bring them into school. Oh, um, I know. Just I know. to let you know, if the middle schoolers can do it, so can you. And they're doing it. Right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think besides that, if you have any questions or concerns, I'm in the library. Um, you can uh, submit a student ticket request. It's the screen that pops up when you mm -hmm. first open up your Chromebook on that website. Um, you know, we're here to help. So. Come good. Use your resources. Cool. Well, thank you. No, you're welcome. Thank you. That was awesome. Come to the choir concert October 23rd at 7:30 p.m. There's going to be lots of singing, so why wouldn't you want to go? Be there or be square. Hey, seniors. If you're still in need of getting your senior photos taken, Yearbook has a solution for you. On Saturday the 26th and Sunday the 27th, we will be offering cheap senior photo sessions. Um, so all you have to do is fill out a Google form, which will be posted in the Daily Bulletin, and also on the publication's Twitter and Instagram. All we really want is for every senior to have the opportunity to have a senior photo in the yearbook. So all you have to do is fill out that form, and we'll get right back to you with all the other information that you need to know. Thanks, Tigers! That's it for this week, Tigard. See you all next week. Goodbye.